I'm Will Hazel from PaleBlue.Energy and I want to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about a really exciting project that we've got going on here in the northeast of Scotland. This project is critical when it comes to dealing with carbon dioxide emissions and it's called the Acorn Carbon Capture and Storage Project or Acorn CCS. Well like its namesake, the tiny nut that gives us the mighty oak, the Acorn CCS project is the starting point for a number of carbon mitigation projects that could see us preventing millions of tonnes of carbon dioxide getting into the atmosphere and causing climate change. Carbon Capture and Storage, or CCS, is a suite of technologies that allows us to capture large emissions of carbon dioxide, treat it and then transport it for permanent storage in rock formations deep underground. In the case of the Acorn CCS project, we're going to start at the St Fergus gas terminal, where we will capture existing CO2 emissions from the gas processing plant. We will then dry, condition and compress the gas so that it can be easily transported out to sea using one of the existing, now disused, offshore pipelines. This will take the CO2 straight to a new injection well on the Acorn storage site, where we know there are world-class rock formations which will safely and permanently store the carbon dioxide deep under the North Sea. Yes, but this is just the starting point for our Acorn. Once we've got our CCS infrastructure in place at St Fergus, it will open up a number of exciting project opportunities that will help us deal with carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. This includes providing a transport route via an existing natural gas pipeline to store CO2 emissions captured from industrial processes in central Scotland. Using Peterhead Port to ship CO2 in from other areas that don't have such great access to storage. This could include industrial emissions from around the UK and Europe. Finally, it gets even better. We are developing a project to produce hydrogen from the natural gas that comes ashore at St Fergus. Hydrogen is widely considered to be a fuel of the future. This would remove and store the CO2 that many of us emit when we use fossil fuels to cook, heat our homes and travel around. Well, there have been a few attempts to do this before, many of them in and around St Fergus. But it takes a lot of things coming together to make a project like this happen. Government commitment, the backing of industry and everybody's desire to do something about climate change. And we're really lucky because that's precisely what has happened. And all being well, we should be up and running in a few years. Yeah.